we kind of move forward a little bit, but I want to break it back a little bit too, man, because I want to talk about like, uh, you know, body gang, splash bros, yeah. and like original splash bros, original two on twos, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, like how did how did the original two on two start? You know what I'm saying? Best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy Sir Quinn from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got a special guest, man. Thanks for coming to the building, man. Oh, God, yeah, God. man. Fast, fast, man. Formally introduce yourself, man. What it do, man? It's your boy Showstopper, Hamp Squad, 5160, Body Gang, you feel me? Black Ice Cartel, New Midwest, you know, hottest battle rapper in the city, you feel me? And all that good stuff, man. Throw them H's up, man. Yeah, oh, man. Sheesh, 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 man. So, uh, let's, let's, we gonna pick your brain today, man. We gonna figure out, like, you know what I'm saying, from the, from the, from the past to the, to the present, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. with that said, like, uh, showstopper man that name is crazy yes. man so uh we're gonna talk about that like how that name derived too but additionally i want to know like what was your upbringing like how was your upbringing so basically like the upbringing um came from like a big family household type shit i got like a lot of a lot of fucking brothers and um one sister and shit mm -hmm. two parents and all that so it's like we we just grew up like all together like we really ain't had too much of like shit growing up we had the essentials like food and everything but as far as like we ain't had like the name brand clothes. We yeah. just had to get it. How, how many of how many of us? How many of, of y'all was it? Um, shit. So in the in the household, yeah. it was seven kids, yeah. two parents and shit. So and I'm the youngest one. Are oh, you the, the youngest? So oh. I'm the baby out the bunch. So like, yeah, we just had to get it. How we get it? Like we just grew up together type shit. That's like that's why like we like more. Well, a lot of family oriented type shit. Right. We like depend on each other when we have to type shit. Right. And um shit, yeah, we just, you know, get it how we get it. Well, what was that house like, man? Yeah, Cause yeah. I know how the cribs was, bro. Like when you run it right up and you know it's a whole bunch of people in that yeah. crib. Was it lit that yeah, bitch? I was, was gonna it? say it was, it was lit. Yeah, it was crazy. And y'all was on the H's too. Yeah, I was gonna say, like it was it was probably special like being like little little and shit like that. Like, you know, when moms and them gone to work, oh. summertime and shit, we up in there. Turning up, playing all type of games, wow. wrecking the crib. Wow, all that type wow. Of you, <laughs> you was kind of telling me, like, because uh, we had, you know, this some shit happened, but like, you was telling me, like, uh, like the, the that crib was like the spot to be, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, where, yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? Yeah, our crib, like, on, on Hampton, it was, this, it was one of the spots to be, especially like when my mom's and them going and shit like that. Like, yeah. people would come over, or some of our friends and shit would come over, even though they weren't supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be coming over, like, chilling in the crib and shit, you know, posted up, just yeah. doing what, doing what kids do. Right, type right. Shit, like, so, look, so, look, so looking that. back, <laughs> looking back to that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, how do you think that, like, like made you, like, Get into like battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, or, or, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Constructed you, like, we, we ain't gonna get too far fast, but, like, yeah. but like, constructed you into the, this person that you are now, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, it's basically just, it just like kind of in a way gave me like a foundation type shit, like, mm. like, and it, it made me who I am, like, family made me who I am, and like, in my upbringing, like, being on Hampton, like, being in the hood and shit like that, yeah, like, that made me who I am, just being made my personality type shit, like, right, right. And it's just, that's just why who I am. And then, like, as far as, like, getting into the rap, like, like, being around everybody, everybody just rap this yeah, shit. Like, yeah, we yeah. all used to do it for fun. You know, Killer and Magic was the ones, like, really getting into it and all that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it just kind of spread it from them two, and everybody was just, you know, just spitting their verse, right, freestyling, right, right. playing with it, battling each other, like, just Y'all battling this? All, yeah, Jeez. like, just spitting verses and all that, like, back and forth. Yeah. And I, for a long time, like, I wasn't even rapping this shit. I was just... Just watching Using the, the cut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching in the cut, and after a while and shit, I just got yeah, into yeah, yeah. it. And then, you know, for real, man. Like so, so, where did name yeah. come from? Like, where did name <laughs> Showstopper come from? Like, man, how you? Uh, that came from like one of my first verses I ever like wrote. Type shit, like my first real verse I ever wrote. At that least. name is so. Like at the end of the verse, I forgot like specifically what I said, but I'm like. Like at the end of the verse, I was like 13 or something like that. I was like, some, some, that's why they called me the showstopper. And then, like, it just stuck, it stuck <laughs> like with everybody. Like, credit to Killer. Like, Killer was the one that, um, 
like kind of made it stick in a way because right. I wasn't even thinking about like I was just rapping and shit yeah. like that. So like next thing you know, on the track, I recorded the same track. Shout out to my nigga Big Pop. Yeah. He was the one who got me um like in the studio. Because who talking like that though? Who talking like at thirteen? Who saying like the showstopper? Who yeah. saying shit like that though? Yeah. Like oh man, like I, what? I, I, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> no, I was what? already like advanced as far as like the bars and shit like that. Like it just came natural to be honest. Right. Like, so yeah, bro, just got me in the studio. Then the track got laid. I laid the track. Poppy got me in the studio. Track got laid and um, shit and like they just put a little bit of showstopper because yeah, I was known as Lil B on hip. Yeah, yeah. But like as far as like on the track, it just got a little bit of showstopper. Little bit of showstopper. Just, I just cut the little B out like as I went along, got older and shit. I just like straight showstopper. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Can't <laughs> y'all just now tapping in, man? We kicking it with showstopper, man. Body gang, cartel. Let's get it. Yeah, man. So let's talk about this politics, cause like, uh, man, chess just choked, bro. Man, what? Again, like back <laughs> what? To, it was like some back to back shit too. That shit. What, crazy. bro? Did, he, did you see him trying to get it back though? Yeah, like, it's, like it's cringy. What? It's cringy. What is that like being a battle rapper? Like, and and that memory, like, 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 how do you, how do you like keep your memory? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, like, what is, um, what is it like, man? Cause I ain't in that field, like, man. To me, it's like you either. You either got it or you don't. Like, yeah. It's like you either, yeah, it's like you got it or you don't. Cause me, I got a good memory. Um, like I can write like super last minute and still like remember my bars. I'd have wrote some bars the day of a mm -hmm. battle type shit and, and memorize the shit. How does that work with even when the pressure on though? Like man, heart just racing. Gotta, uh, just gotta. He said you either got, got it or you yeah, don't, man. Throw the edges up on that, bro. <laughs> like, gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Like and it all come with like the hunger of it. So it's like. Me seeing like another person choke is like to me. It's either you don't take yourself serious or your yeah. your craft serious, or you just don't got it. Like you ain't who you think you is. So yeah, that's, that's all crazy. I, that's how I look at it. That's like even crazy. I choke before, but I ain't before, but I ain't known for that shit. Yeah, I do this shit. Yeah, you do this <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> I do so what you what you currently do, what you currently doing in battle rap? What you got? What you got coming up? Um, battle rap. So wait, we gonna touch on that right after this commercial break. <laughs> yeah, y'all stay tapped in, ladies and gentlemen. We are now available on Roku TV. Again, we are pleased to announce that we are on the A and R app on Roku TV. Make sure y'all go support. It's spelled T H E, capital A lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces please go check that out again it's capital t lowercase h e uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces the a and r all one word thank you for your support go check that out yeah Yo, in case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with Showstopper, Body Gang, Cartel. Man, yeah. fresh off the H's. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you already know. <laughs> so uh yeah, before the commercial break, we was talking about like what you currently doing in battle rap. Like what you what you got going on, man. Talk to me. So yeah, as far as battle rap, I'm pretty much I'm booked for the year. So next month, um planning on going to Canada and Toronto. Jeez. Uh got a battle out there on one of the biggest leagues, King of the Dot. I'm on that card. Car should be flyer should be dropping soon. Y'all gonna see that. Yeah. Um, oh, can't go to die. Yeah. Though. So in May we in I'm in Chicago. Me and my bro Killer we got a two on two in Chicago. Oh, Shout yeah. out Smoke Room Battle League yeah. Midwest shit. Uh, then you know some other shit, some other big two so, other announcements coming yeah, yeah. up real soon that I can't announce right now. But be on the lookout on my all my social media, all my pages. It's gonna be dropping soon, but it's gonna be happening right here in Milwaukee. Right. Two cracking events, two paper man. I can't even say too much. Man. Jeez, I, I, man. I almost slipped so yeah, 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 so so like, up. So, okay, we we kind of move forward a little bit, but I want to bring it back a little bit too, man, because I want to talk about like uh you know body gangs, Splash Bros, yeah. and like original Splash Bros, original two on twos, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like like how did how did the original two on two start? You know what I'm saying? So like the original, it, that's funny you got that like yeah. uh because we got the Splash Bros documentary coming Ooh. out, and when it's like explaining. Like, just specifically, like, how Splash Bros, like, played a real big factor as far as the history of the whole two versus two. So, like, right. we came about in around, like, 2014, late 2014 or early 2015, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, credits to example, like, it was his idea, then gay killer choice of who to pick as far as um, 
who the team with. Right. And they ain't know they was gonna pick me because this was like I was still early on my first year in battle rap. Facts. So he picked me. It was a shock to everybody. We main invented the car. Me and Killer just went crazy, like as far as like the back and forth two on two and the chemistry that we had. Yeah. Um, people ain't see it like that. Like ain't nobody wasn't doing the two on twos in the way that we was doing no, it at that time. Yeah. So it kind of like blew up from there, like as far as like the Midwest. And then like it ended up getting like big leagues and shit, like D DNA K Shine came yeah, out like yeah, a yeah. year or so after that. After that. You know, they like the bigger names and shit. So they got like more popular than what we was. Yeah, yeah. But like we was the ones who started, yeah, started like that that two verse two yeah. way back, like how it came back and shit like that. And a lot of people don't know that, but it's all fact check, you know, do your fact yeah, check. Yeah, facts and like and, and the construction of it, like how y'all, you know what I'm saying, like pretty much explain to people who don't know what this two V two is, yeah. like because like pretty much it's like somebody to start a bar or they ad lib yeah. the bar or you know what I'm saying, explain to them. Yeah, like, how so, that works. so the two verse two in battle rap, like you can do it any type of way. You can either do it like one person spit, then you spit, yeah, or it can do like just some creative shit like in and out shit back yep. and forth like words type shit in between bars like which what me and killer do type shit like right. we just try to find different ways yeah to just like push the agenda and be more creative and shit like that and even with that like me and killer we don't even write our two on twos Ooh, at all shit. like all that shit becoming like we just meet up with each other and we just like y'all talk how, about like yeah, y'all talk I, about yeah, the like, shit that y'all yeah. go talk about like how we like we talk about how we want to like do it and shit or how bad we want to kill them up <laughs> like for the most part so it's like we just because i wanted i wanted to ask you like what like because you said people were shocked like like why do you think they were shocked that, that he chose you you know what i'm saying yeah because um like it was another person in body gang g face was popping at that time too mm -hmm. and he was like him and Shout killer was like the mm -hmm. um like they was like going higher up as far as like the whole battle rap scene and shit like that and this was still my first year and like a lot of people weren't like respecting me at first yeah so like they picked me they was like damn like why the fuck they pick bro for and shit like that yeah Ooh, yeah so Ooh, i know that ignited like, you bro. It, it was like i was receiving a lot of hate like when i first came around like yeah. a lot of people not even hate i just had to earn a lot of people respect because they didn't respect my skill they just didn't respect me they just looked at me as like under killer type shit. yeah fast. and i just had to like as the years went along, get out of bro shadow. Yeah, shit. facts, facts, man. So you you brought up body gang. So like, man, like body gang was like <laughs> body gang over every family, bro. Like man, like how did body gang start? For one, mm -hmm. I'm mean, we gonna and then like who all is in it? Okay, so body gang started. Hold in... on, man. You gotta take a moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like nigga. Bro, like for real, like, cause this squad is crazy. All right, man, just I'm, I'm talking too much. Uh, <laughs> like, no, nah, cause like, like what, bro? Body gang is crazy, bro. Wait till y'all hear these names. Bro. Yeah, the, <laughs> like, yeah, the name's crazy. So name. as far as who in it, how did it start? Like, how did it start? Oh, how first? Start yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So Come on, let's make them wait first. It all started in like around my first battle. My first battle ever was versus Bankhead. Um, it started like 2014. That was when like it really like fully came about. Shout out to Killer B. Like Killer B was like the creator of the group or the name and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And I was the first, of course, like the first actual member of Body Gang or battling Ooh. under the brand and shit. And then like shit just grew from there. Like at first it was like some in-house Hampton shit. Yeah. Like a lot of niggas off Hampton. I yeah. was trying to get them in battle rap type shit. <laughs> trying to get them in battle rap and then like after a while I kind of was like thinking of a bigger picture. Like Damn. let's just add like the motherfuckers that's hot like yeah. outside the hood type shit and that's when we added like a lot of different people from out of state and in, like in the city and shit like that like so as far as who we got yeah such as yeah such as we got of course me killer b uh the example guns up cartel uh logic divine vixen the assassin the hottest female battle rapper that's out uh body gang buck Uptown. Damn. Um, Shout out, Buck. My nigga Black Gemini, he from Ohio. Jeez. Uh, my nigga Rich Porter from uh, Kenosha. Uh, we also have some little, some school shooters, Prophecy from Ohio. Damn. Class president, they from Ohio too. Two little young, um, young shooters, you feel me? Jeez. So we had a lot more people um, before that, but you know, we, you know. Yo, hey, body gang, yeah. bro. That's <laughs> crazy, man. So like, uh, <laughs> Like, like, what's uh, what's the plans for, like for Body Gang? Like, what are y'all like? You know what I'm saying? Like, because like, 
I, I I was in the culture, man. I was the cameraman. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm all kind of shit, bro. And man, like I, I seen y'all battling each other, like bro, like <laughs> like internally iron sharp and iron type shit, man. Nice. Like swear, bro. So like I asked two questions, man. First of all, I want to talk. I want to talk about that. Like, what was what was the method? What was the the madness behind that? Be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, behind y'all, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the body gang versus body gang. Like we had an event, the first and only event that we had, like a body gang versus body gang. So. Uh, I don't, the method behind it we was just like trying to just push the agenda and get like our name out there more we didn't want to go and do it under no league or nothing like that we wanted to get out the politics and everything mm -hmm. and um so it was a at first we had a car we had a different car before the actual like the battles that was play, played out mm -hmm. it was a different car set up before so originally it was supposed to be g face versus killer Buck versus I forgot Buck versus somebody and I was supposed to battle um Shooter. Yeah. Shooter was body gang at the time. Yeah. But like it was a year where I was just going crazy. Like my stock was just yeah. kind of through the roof. And like the demand motherfuckers wonder like who better between you and Killer? Like they Ooh. wanted to really they really wanted to know. So the demand level was like so high, we switched the matchups. Like so it, main event was me versus Killer B, then it was Buck versus G Face. Sparks versus J Magic and um um Steezy versus Porter. I believe yeah, Steezy versus Porter. Yeah. So so yeah, it came from yeah. the competition level, yeah. like from the people wanting to see it. And we yeah. came up with the matchup from like the main matchup that people wanted to see. Then we got we already had a venue type shit. We right. already we did everything, like me and Killer and everything. We did all that ourselves. Hell bro. all that. So it was Bro, it's it was like, a big event. Like yeah. it was a big thing for the city. It's because the politics is real. Like when it kind of uh, uh, Milwaukee battle rap yeah, right now. Facts, like everybody, facts. like man, this, 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 and this. But it's all family, and it's all you know. what I'm saying iron sharp and iron. Yeah, it's all facts. this big word right here, competitive, yeah, man. Yeah, like that's, that's the key thing. Like yeah. it's real. Like a lot of people be looking at it like it may be hate or adversity and shit like that. But at the end of the day, if you really like kind of look at it, everybody just competitive. And want what they want out right. of it type shit. Like me, I just want to be considered as as the, the best, not even one of the best. I want to be the best. The and then, best. And I'm going to prove to motherfuckers like why I am the best. Yeah, I'm glad you kind of transitioned over and said that because I, I want to know like your future goals. Like what like where where are you trying to take this? You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. What, what you trying to accomplish? I just wanna um I wanna take it as far as I could. I wanna take it to the point where motherfuckers look at Milwaukee as a big staple city in battle rap. Yes, Lord. And I want to be like one of them faces. Like we got a lot of faces and a lot of heavy hitters in Milwaukee battle rap. And I want to be like, I just want to bring the culture to Milwaukee instead of us having to go anywhere else or travel and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I want people to come here and like look at Milwaukee like, oh, I got to come here. I want to go here and shit like all right. the big names and shit like that. And we just had a, um, a big event. Um, last weekend, a cage event, Black Ice Cartel. Yeah, a cage event. All the it was a like kind of like the that vision that I set sick, out. Sick man. Yeah, like kind of like the vision that I set out. Like mm. it was kind of like that. All the big names was here. The big media, like people from New York, like everywhere was here. Yeah, and Milwaukee people, up, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, and a lot of people don't be knowing that as far as like the big events that be happening here in Milwaukee. Like it's a lot of big shit going on in Milwaukee as far as battle rap and all that. Like the people, the people y'all watch on TV be in milwaukee a lot so i saw that it was like the line was crazy like yes. man like you battled that night yeah i battled kd that night and it was on pay-per-view as well Jeez. so i battled kd from st louis that night that was a a five-year grudge match yeah. one of the best battles of the year so far one of the most personal battles you'll probably ever see type yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, like yeah. it was one of, it was getting messy in what there. you mean personal like why was it why was it personal like why did you say it was so, personal so kd used to be body gang he's from st louis he used to be body gang <laughs> um and like it was like my guy like we was cool and shit smart, yeah like a lot of shit like that and it was an incident that happened like five years ago where um um it was like on world star shit too which is funny like it was like a girl he was fucking with like start hauling off on a mid battle and like her baby daddy like jumped in but it was it was super light compared yeah, yeah. to like the shit we see here yeah 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 yeah, yeah like that like it was super light but like it was he kind of made it a big i mean it's oh i don't want to yeah. but he kind of yeah, yeah. made it a big deal and shit like that and like just talking like real bad on our name so yeah, it was like yeah. 
it was outside. Nah, you can't have no personal yeah. problems in so, battle rap, so though, boy. It was boy. outside of the battle rap a little bit at that point, and it was like some real tension. Yeah. But like we squashed it years ago. We just finally got to talk Ooh, about it. Ooh, we got to rap the public, you feel me? Like, I don't know, man. Who won the battle, bro? Like, I got to ask yeah, you. Man, How many bro. rounds y'all go? We went three rounds. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Talk to me, you bro. Know, we <laughs> What the ages is that, man? What the ages is that, man? In case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with. Show stopping, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Body gang. We're gonna pick his brain, man. Right at this commercial break, we got the word segment coming up. Y'all stay tapped in, yeah. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client, and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break, man. Catch y'all now tapping in. We kicking it with Showstopper, man. Body gang, ham squad. You already know what time Cartel. it is. We got the word segment where we spin the wheel three times. And every time it land on a word, you tell me what you think about that word personally. Thank All right, let's show. go. First spin. Relationships. <laughs> probably the wrong motherfucker to talk to it. Nah, but <laughs> like <laughs> no, nah, but as far as relationships, like that can go like friendships or any relationship you got with a person, like it's very important to have like or establish your any type of relationship with a person because like you never know when you may need them. Like just even like emotionally or mentally and shit like that you you need a shoulder to cry on or lean on sometimes because right. you know people go through their shit and people go through their emotions of life so relationships like you need a relationship or with a person whether it's like your girl wife family cousin right. brother and shit like that you need to establish relationships because it helps you in the long run mentally physically i mean yeah mentally physically like emotionally it's good to have that support behind you yeah facts 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 Sending them support. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's get that second shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say relationships. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, <laughs> right there. Ooh, shit. Family. Family. So that's big for me. Like, I got a big ass family. Like, that's that's the foundation of it makes you who you are at the end of the day. Mm. So, like, the reason why I am is why I am because I had an upbringing of family. I had parents that taught me certain shit, not even just with like, how they teach me out their mouths or nothing like that. Like, just right. by the way they carry themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, I have brothers that taught me shit, like, just by the way they carry themselves. Right. Good or bad, like, but I learned from them, too. Like, I learned what not to do, what to do. And family is, like, just important. Like, it's it's the glue to who you is. Like, if you don't got family, like, you don't got nothing at the end of the day. Yeah, facts. Like, and it, it, don't, get, it don't even got to be blood sometimes. Like, sometimes you got family, like, through your neighborhood, through friendships whatever but no family is like the most important thing in my eyes yeah me. facts 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 jeez all right let's get that third spin <laughs> had to do a real price is right yeah, spin. Right. <laughs> jeez. art art Ooh, that's the most so basically art for me is the most creative it, it opens your creativeness in your mind type shit. Like Jeez. art can be like, you know, music, um, actual art, paint, whatever like that. But it opens up your creativity because it makes you like look into a different world. Like, a, like you can imagine whatever it is you want and mm. put it out there in the world, like in the, in your expression. Right. Like, it's an expression to me. Right. So you can express it the, whatever way you like, whether you're drawing, whether you're doing music, when you're doing media, media is art. Like right. everything around us is art at the end of the day. And it's the most creative shit. Like to me, that's it opened up your creativity. Right. What like what kind of advice would you give somebody who who don't create, who don't like 
think uh, about find, art. Like, you find something to, to to do. Like you have to find a hobby at the end of the day. And whatever hobby you do, it is art. Whether it's sports, sports is an art form at the end of yeah, the day. Like yeah. emotions, uh, emotions where you do the sport, that's an art form. Correct. Like whether you rap, do music, music is art. Like right. everything, everything around us is art related. So if you're not doing nothing, you're just blocking yourself. You blocking your creativity yeah. and blocking your potential of what like. Your yeah. potential of creativity. Opening up your yeah. mind. Yeah, you gotta yeah. open it up a little bit. Pause. Yeah. But you gotta, <laughs> like, you gotta open it up, like to the point where you don't know where it can take you at the end of the day, because right. it could take you to some places that you never would have thought of yourself. Yes, Lord, man, that's the word saying it, ladies and gentlemen. With we, showstopper, yeah, man. Yeah. Man. So, uh, <laughs> what do you, uh, what, 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 what do you think people's perception is of you? You know what I'm saying? Um. Perception. I mean, it depends on like your relationship with me or how well you know me. Like some people may look at me as just a quiet, laid, sm laid back, smooth type dude, which I am. Right. Um. Like some people may look at me as like shit, reckless or whatever the case is, depending on like situations and right the, the way you see me. Sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe. Um. But yeah, like as at the end of the day, what everybody can say is like I'm a genuine person. Yeah. Like I'm. I am me, like yeah. however perception you see of me, that is me. Right. It may be different versions of me, but it's always the same type of me at the end of the day. I'm a yeah. genuine person. I mean what I say. I try to do what I say. I set an example, like for for what I say, type shit. Like yeah, I stand yeah. on my word. Stand type, on that. Type and, of deal. and you proving it out in the field yeah. too, man. Yeah, facts. So like I yeah, that's what it is. So that's what I believe the perception of me is for sure. Right. So like what what else you got going on, man? Cause you battle rap, man. Obviously, man, like you uh like you yeah. uh but like what 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 what's next? Like what you got, you know what I'm saying? Like you trying to act, you yeah. trying to, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So, like what you trying to do. Yeah, I wanna get into acting like like real bad. Like I just oh no, I just wanna try something like new, like because you know, battle rap is what I do. Right. But I just wanna keep trying like more entertainment type stuff just to like like as far as like what I was saying with creativity, like push the agenda, like mm. ain't no telling where it could take me. Mm -hmm. Like, I just want to try it out. It's something that I'm interested in or have been interested in in a while. I just never like try to push myself into doing it, but I want to do like more acting. I want to get involved like with more like media type of deal, right. whether it's battle rap media or just like media in general. Right. And just like putting myself like more out there, more than what I was doing before, like in the public eyes type shit, just pushing my, my the showstopper brand type right. shit forward and it's yeah yeah because all that's gonna do is amplify it well us yeah. really anyways man so like like what is like everything you do mean with with your purpose like i say purpose i call it uh, you with purpose like having a kid like because you're yeah. a parent right like Facts. like yeah. like what does all this mean like you know what i'm saying to you you know yeah um it's basically <clears throat> just setting an example setting an example for my son like i got a, a three-year-old son and shit um setting an example for him like you can do anything type of deal like no matter what it is you can't nobody tell you you can't do it right. shouldn't nobody be able to tell you to the point where you believe them that you can't do it like you got to have your own motivation your own courage and shit like that no right. matter what people may say everybody ain't gonna agree with you but right you, if you believe in it that much just set it off for yourself for you to do it and put in the efforts for you to push it forward type shit so that's what i'm trying to do like with anything I do, like I play sports and shit sometimes. Like I want to do whatever I do, I put in all my effort. I don't want to half fast doing nothing. Yeah, no. Because I don't want to leave that room for, for any type of regret type jeez, shit. Jeez, 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 man. So, um, what was it like, like, like growing up though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like in the, in the, in the trenches, man, yeah. Hampton, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, like, what was, what was that like though, man, for you? You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So growing up, it was, it was lit. It was one of some of the best times for me. Right. It's like, Cause I, I'm trying to go back to I'm trying to yeah. you know what I'm, saying? I'm from the H's, bro. I know, bro. I know, bro. And I also want to talk about this documentary too, bro. Cause this okay. Flash Bros is crazy, bro. And I always confuse them to y'all too, bro. Yeah. Killer, <laughs> Killer B and Showstar, bro. You see these they, this uncanny, bro. Like so, like like like, but like, what was what was it like? Like you know what I'm saying? Coming up on the on the H's, bro. Just like yeah, like growing up, like it was. It was like some of the funnest times and some of the like you know the good the bad the ugly like yeah, but it's yeah. all like it was fun to me though like at the end of the day like some of the times i missed because like like i said like how we grew up we was like family oriented yeah like in-house type shit with like my big family and shit like that 
So by the time we stepped outside and all that, like it just carried outside to like on the on the, on Hampton type oh, yeah, shit, like yeah. how we grew up. So like everybody we met, like it was just like they was family too. Like we know right, their families, right, we know all their siblings, right. we know their moms and pops. They moms and pops know us. Like, and you know, we just get into, used to get into a whole bunch Man, of Man, that's what I'm trying to get them into this. I'm trying to get them into this. We used to get into the, yeah. you know, we used to get into the, to the to the drill, I always say, yeah, we used to get into the drugs, drugs and all that. We used to get into fights and yeah, all that type of yeah. shit. Sometimes fighting with each other, yeah. but at the end of the day, like we all still like family. At the end of the day, like a type of family. At the end of the day, yeah. and an organization. At a the organization, end of the day, bro. Sure. Like, yeah. like we we all everybody's still intact for the most part to today. Like I still got I got like twenty five plus. 25 plus years relationship. Jeez. I know these niggas damn near my whole life. Yes, bro. And you see some of these same niggas with me to to this day type shit. I'm and just the, with some the, of them the niggas. The big last names night. from like the, that's niggas from niggas from Hampton, bro. Like, yeah. they, and they still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Hampton we got, got some, a lot of legends. Got a lot of legends, man. A lot of legends, man. And additionally, um, speaking of a legend, man, let's talk about this documentary, bro. Oh, this, yeah, for sure. This huge, bro. Like, this huge. Yeah. The next battle, the battle's coming up. That's that's huge and all that. Yeah. Like, man, let's talk about this. So, the, the documentary, we got, um, me and Killer B got a documentary just covering our two versus, our two verse two careers mm -hmm. and how we basically play, played a big factor as far as the history of two verse two careers. Like, we go way back in the history of how, like, the two verse two started. And then we show like how it how we came about and how it kind of like expanded from when we came about. Right. Like, not saying that nobody copied our like doing what we do or nothing like that, but it's just kind of yeah. I mean, to a degree, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, not, I not I ain't gonna say copy, yeah. but like they they seen the format and then like they yeah. expanded it on their own, like they did they thing too with it. Saying, but like and that. then kind kind of how it all came full circle, like with us battling like our in game like as a dna k shine we battled yeah yeah the, we battled the hottest two yeah, on two yeah, out. yeah. like that was huge we battled by dna k shine so it kind of showed like the whole full circle mm. of the history how we play a real big part in the history the dna k shine how they played a part in the history as well and then right. how it all come full circle and us battling dna k shine so Splash Bros yeah. documentary, Splash Bros, the Underground Kings, the Battle Rap documentary. It's gonna be out. We fit to have it out on the website coming soon. Check our social medias. We got a um Splash Bros page on Facebook, like the page. All all details and everything coming real soon. We're gonna try to get it on all streaming sites real soon too. It's all, all right. a process. So yes, Lord, man. All right, man. Catch y'all just now tapping in. We kicking it with Showstopper, man. You feel me? Hap squad, body gang, cartel. We in the building. Yeah, we're going to tell them, we're going to let them tell you uh, where to find you at right after this commercial break. Y'all stay tapped in. Yeah. Finest Wine Crystal here with Best of the Best TV, where we interview entrepreneurs who've shown consistent dedication to their work. We assist others in marketing by exposing you on all successful platforms and your favorite podcast apps, as well as a special segment titled Artist of the Month, where we honor artist achievements. Contact our host, Sir Quentin Gladney, by visiting bestofthebesttv.com or email 414liftoff at gmail.com today. Yo, thanks for still tapping in. We kicking it with Showstopper, Body Gang, Cartel, Ham Squad, Five One Six So. Body Gang, Showstopper, man, it's crazy, man. So, um, tell them, tell them about these big battles you got coming up. Mm -hmm. Tell them where to find you at. You know, tell them, man, just it's, it's your flow right now. All right, bet. So, find me. Um, watch all my battles on YouTube. Showstopper versus on YouTube. If you ain't never seen me before, type it in, watch me. Guarantee you're going to be entertained because I am that nigga at the end of the day. Right. Uh, follow me on Facebook at Brandon Suggs, my real name. Follow me on Twitter at Showstopper5160. Follow me on Instagram at Showstopper51. And follow me on TikTok at Showstopper51, I believe, as well. Um, like the Splash Bros page on Facebook for, uh, for details about the documentary and just details about battles coming up. Um, I do have a lot of battles coming up for the year. All big battles. I'm going for that uh, champion of the year list at yes, the end Lord. of the day. A lot of people think it's like not reachable type shit for like, like for, for niggas like us. Yeah, like yeah, type yeah, shit. yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. a real, it's like a naturally the top 25 battle rappers of the whole world at the end of the list year. I'm most definitely shooting for that by the end of this year. Jeez. So 
Yeah, and then going to Canada next year, King of the Dot. That's huge. Um, going to Chicago this year. Um, got a couple two got a couple battles here in Milwaukee. Big events coming up here in Milwaukee that y'all should be looking out for, and y'all should come to because it's most definitely a vibe. And yeah, I might be going. Um, I might be going somewhere else out the country as well. I'm in talks with like other leagues and shit like that too. That might be going to London maybe and shit like that maybe. But we go. We still in talks with. Like we in discussion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, Negotiation, yeah. man. My dog stay booked, man. That's what's up, man. Y'all make sure I get in tune with my dog. Showstopper, man. Yeah. Body gang. You hear me, man? Go follow him on all platforms. Additionally, y'all make sure y'all tune in to the AR app on Roku. We in front of millions of people. Um, y'all stay tapped in. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be going to the radio, River West, man. Shout out to my boy. Uh, Cartier Chris, man, we're going we gonna to blast this out, too. We're going to amplify this, man. Y'all make sure y'all support, man. Amplify, man. We need all y'all support. Man, subscribe to all my dog pages and shit, man. Uh, subscribe to the buzz, too, man. Yeah, shout out shout to the out buzz. To the buzz, the buzz going up, man. Shout out to G. What G.E. been up to, man? Um, He just had a battle yesterday in Peoria. What? Yeah, he just cooked food out there. So what? from what I heard, you know, he just getting back out. Yeah, yeah, you know, he, he got right back to it. He's yeah, still he out here grinding, going crazy. Yeah, that's what's happening, man. Shout out to you, man. Way. That's that, that, that <laughs> more agency. See what I'm trying to say, man. But again, man, it's your boy Sir Quinn. Then. Showstopper, man. Yeah. Shout out best to the best TV. Man, Thanks appreciate you, dog. Man, throw them agents in there. Yeah, you already know, man. You already know what time it is. Your boy Sir Quinn. Man, shh, shut up and hustle. Yeah. Good day, still in the struggle. Ain't no time to tussle. I'm gonna ain't no time to call. I tell them like, sir, cut up and hustle.